Let's assume you have a thousand PDFs. In my case, here I have only 30. And you want to rename all of them according to the content. So we have three methods that you can achieve that. And the third method is uh, quick, very fast, and very efficient. You just click something and everything changes. So we'll start with the hard one. Then we go to the second one, which is a little bit easier. And then we go to the third one, which is now the mind blowing one. So by default, if you want to rename this file, you would open, you highlight, you copy. Then you click on rename, you paste the name, you go to the next one, all the way to the number of PDFs that you have. The second method, a little bit smarter, click on view, go to show, and then we have the preview pane. Now that we have this preview pane, you can make it a little bit larger like that so you click on the document and uh, you'll preview it uh, on this side so what you'll do you click on uh, this rename you can now type amelia then instead of hitting on enter you click on tab it will go to the next document and uh, you do the same amelia with all the typing speed and uh, mistakes and everything rose Click on tab. By now you understand what we mean. Now this is the second method, which is a little bit better. But if you have a thousand of those documents, trust me, it's going to be very tiresome. So I don't want to see the preview pane. The final method, which is the best method, is you go download a tool called Evermap. It's a plugin for Adobe Acrobat Pro. You download Autosplit plugin. You're going to get a a trial period and you can use that to evaluate whether it will be useful to you or not so in my case i'm going to download this and we are going to test so they partnered with adobe so i think the only uh, supported software will be adobe acrobat so once you download you install we have the setup after downloading from the website this is a demo version we install yeah, welcome to Autosplit. Yes, I accept the agreement. Yeah, I want that one. Then install. It will install. We can finish and it will automatically open Adobe Acrobat. You will get uh, this tab here called plugins. Once you click on it, you can see all the options that it's going to give us. And now we want to rename files. You disregard everything else here. You click on auto rename PDF files and uh, this is what you're going to get. So I try a version. So we have 30 days which are left. So which are many in case maybe you have some files that you want to rename and stare some can just use this for 30 days evaluate whether it will be useful to you and if not then you can just you can just move over and not buy the pro version so you click on ok now we want to add a rule the plugin will use the rule that we are going to compose here to grab the names and uh, rename the files according to what we are going to set here so you click on add and now we have all these options in our case we are interested in text from the location we want to highlight an area where the name will appear such that uh, it will look in all the PDFs and uh, the name which will appear in the, in the location that you are going to specify, it will rename that PDF according to what will be found in that location. So you click on next and then it's going to prompt us to load the PDF file so that we can instruct exactly the location where we are going to find the name. We click on OK, click on one of the invoices. Remember they are all similar. The only thing that are changing are the particulars, but the structure and the location are all the same. So I click on open and we have a preview. Now I want to zoom in. Let me zoom in the location. Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit more so that we get a, a better look. Now this is the location of the name. All the PDFs have a name here and I want to use this name as the PDF file name. So you click on this uh, button here and then you highlight the location where the name will be appearing. I like making it a little bit longer so that if uh, a person has a longer name, it will be accommodated. This is the location of the text that you will be looking in all the PDFs. So you click on OK and now we are done. So once I click on OK, Let's add all the files. You highlight everything, that's control A. Then click on open. So these are the files that you want to rename. So I click on a okay and uh, 
you can see so this is what happened the plugin opened the file then from the location that we instructed in the rule it grabbed this name and then we want now to rename all the pdfs based on the names that are inside those pdfs so once i click on rename after verifying of course you verify that everything is okay then you click on rename and uh, as you can see we have all 30 pdfs renamed click on ok and this is the log you close go back to our pdf and we have every one of them renamed according to the content this is ella ann this is merely so it grabbed the name and renamed the pdf according to exactly that so the good thing about uh, this plugin is you are very flexible as to what you can do if you go back there to our rule you can decide to add a new rule for example we can click on a text from the location click on next yes open one of them like that and then we highlight for example we want the name and the invoice number to appear so as usual we zoom and uh, we highlight the area we click on that button highlight the area where we are going to expect the the code and then this is the location we click on ok now we have a second rule we can click on ok add the files highlight highlight everything open click on ok they've been renamed we have the name and the invoice number appended to each other you can actually decide to put a space between them or just put a hyphen but at least you now get the point you click on rename and they are all renamed so that's renaming from the same folder if you want to rename and put the renamed files in a different folder you make sure this is checked you check on this and then and you select the output folder if you want a different folder you can just click on that anyway i think uh, this is a very useful tool you should check it out if it will make work easier for you you can go ahead and get the pro version thank you for watching the tutorial all the way up to the end like the video share subscribe put the notification bell on so that you get to be notified every time we upload a new content thank you